I realize my existence, my essence, and my words can be a tower moment for those with cruel intent. When you aim at a divine child like me, just know we got snipers on your head. Invisible ones. You can do what you want to do, but you're going to take a loss after a loss for every shot you aim to take. If you keep going, it will double, triple, quadruple until you in that tower falls. The ground you stand on will crumble underneath your feet. I'm sure by now they know that because a lot of them have been going out of their way to wave the white flags and retreat. When you go after someone who is full of love, light, compassion, and want to help everyone, even foes, nothing good comes to you until you put some respect on their name, until you mirror to yourself the same energy you're putting out. I often wonder why people move funny don't go fuck with other people who move funny. It has become clear to me they don't fuck with them types because they have nothing to lose. Meaning, they fuck with us because they want to see us lose this light. And going after another dark energy is pointless because you can't fight in the dark. You can't even see your opponent. Like a moth to a flame, no matter how many moths and gnats and mosquitoes crowd that light. They cannot cover it. They cannot dim it. And though it burns them to the touch, they cannot help but to want to attach themselves to it. It was their destiny to be drawn to this light. It was also their destiny to be destroyed by that light. If they ever tried to touch that light, they knew they would be destroyed. The funny thing is, the light doesn't do anything but shine. It doesn't go after these moths, gnats, and mosquitoes. So in order for the light to continue to burn bright, it was created with a protective shield. We are born with a very strong protective shield in a very protective spiritual team, the Most High. What's a moth to a flame? Nothing. It turns to ashes, dust to dust. But this light of mine, this flame, it will live on forever, shining.